Right here I'm going to show you a way of making a fairly fairly secure password that's portable, meaning it can be uh, used on different people's computers, different mobile devices, and on different websites. It doesn't use special characters because some websites just simply don't allow special characters, you know, like this, unfortunately. So this sticks with uppercase, lowercase, uh, in numbers and makes it sufficiently long enough so that uh, you can, you know, it, it's virtually uncrackable. So and here is an example. Your screen name is blah. You know, just to give you an idea of how this works, a simple way, uh, on YouTube. So you can come up with this as a password. You take the first three letters of your screen name and then first three letters of the website, add some numbers, the four, uh, that's the number of characters that are in your screen name, seven is the number of uh, you know, letters that are in YouTube. Uh, you want to be able to type this out fast, so if the website name is really long, you might just, you know, throwing a zero, you know, it's like over, you know, obviously over 10 characters. You don't want to spend forever trying to figure out how to type out your password. And then you want to add some wildcard characters at the end. Um, wildcard characters uh, that I've chosen here in this example is these letters here. Just a few that allow you to have up to six different combinations. And, this is from the song, The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow, you know. So it's the first letters of each word there. And you can simply add T-S-W-C uh, to the end right there. If someone sees this password, they might figure it out. So you can change it up some. Uh, here, this is a variation. Uh, what this does is, is it takes the H, uh, it goes backwards, takes the H and it adds one to it. So it's going backwards with the screen name. Yeah, it turns it to an I, capitalize the middle one, and then there's an L. Then the four, then your wild card, if you will, and then you repeat the same for the YouTube name, the seven characters, and right there. So you end up with a 12 character long password that looks fairly random, and if anyone saw that, I don't think they're going to be figuring out that there's a pattern. Now if they see two of your passwords, you have bigger problems, but they shouldn't be seeing that many of your passwords. But if they see one, you're fairly safe. And if you need to change it, this is how you change it. You just go to the next series of letters. So this will become, instead of TS, you would have, you can just shift it over to anything you want. You can shift it to the next letters, SW, which would be the next letters here. And over here, the WC would then become capital C O. If you're going to follow this formula, do not follow this formula. This is an example. The, the idea is come up with your own formula. There's a million ways to do it. There's so many variations to it. You know, you can sprinkle the uh, what I call the wildcard characters throughout the thing in any way you want. The number you know can mean anything different than what I described. Uh, you, know, you don't have to use your username as part of it or the you know, website name either. No. But it has to be something that you can type up relatively quickly. You, know, you don't want to find that you're, you know, because you can't see what you're typing up. But, you know, you're seeing basically bullets. So your method has to be something that you can type up. Because you're not remembering this password, you're basically constructing it. It might take like a, about 
10 seconds or so for you to put this, put this together. There are issues with this and uh, like what do you do if there's a number at the end? You have to figure out a way of handling the system. Do you add this or do you just start with the letters? Uh, some of your, some of your uh, assigned usernames by uh, uh, your college or a company might be something like that. So you have to figure out ways of handling that. Sometimes you can log in with either your username or an email address. Uh, so that's going to create some confusion possibly. Uh, this system doesn't use special characters because not all websites do. It's less than 15 characters long because some sites might have a limit as to how long you can <clears throat> make your password. So whatever formula you're going to come up with, you, know, you have to test it out on a variety of sites before you start using it and make sure that you can type this out and it does work for you. But you can type it fairly quickly. As always, uh, if you can find anything ridiculously fundamentally wrong with this outside of, you know, uh, I don't know, the fact that if someone grabs a couple of your passwords, they might uh, decrypt it, they would need to actually get a couple of your passwords. But if there's a real serious major flaw, uh, leave a comment mentioning what it is or any suggestions on improving it. It has to stay simple though. It needs to stay simple because if you find yourself writing down the password, then it's no good. The formula uh, needs to be thrown out and replaced with a better system.